Hello YouTube, we're back on this carburetor again. Uh, we did some research, actually on YouTube, and if we could find the video again, we'll put a link to it. We put, we did save it to our, like our watch later, and it's one of the overlooked parts of a carburetor. I'm trying to find my pointer. Okay, we're gonna explain this real quick because it's not a real long video. This right here, there's a jet passageway. That's for your idle mixture, okay? That runs down here, and that's where your right your mixture screw is, okay? Now I took a picture of this. Down in here there'll be the top hole. I took a picture with the with the throttle set about right there. The top hole's where you'll see the needle poke through, and there's three little holes right there. Now I run that tag bar through there, but this is the problem that they say causes a lot of surgery because this gums up. So I'm going to spray this really good and make sure your gaskets are good. And there's also another passage in here which I cannot tell you right now. Uh, one of these is for your where it flows, your main your main gas coming up through here. Of course, it pulls up too for the idle. Get in get in camera here. Okay, we're going to spray everything again. Now there's a diagram. It's like computerized. It shows there's an O-ring and a jet in some of these. Well. This piece that goes in there has an O-ring on it, and there's just a hole down there. So this is part of that system for the idle. Okay, we're going to redo the emulsion tube again, or whatever they call it. We're going to respray that again. So we're going to give it a really good carburetor spray over and over. And we'll be putting it back together. Uh, we'll give you a few more pictures of this carburetor just for the fun of it. But like I said, you also got your other passageway that runs... That's probably one hole. This goes towards the engine side. And then it sucks through here. And on the diagram, the computerized video showed like these were little brass jets inserted. Well, there is a brass jet down in here. I'll try to get it. I did try to get a good picture of that. This is just milled out, bored out. It goes so far in here. And then it stops. So it must go down to this part somewhere. But we're going to clean everything. There's like holes here. Uh, look all over these. Look for any hole passageway. Wear your goggles when you spray carburetor clearance. You don't spray in your face. I do have my goggles. I will be getting them. So uh, We'll be back after we clean this up. We're going to try to keep this short video. And the next thing you'll be seeing is, is how it runs probably. Uh, I know he's showing how to put it back together. Uh, we've already had a video on it tearing it apart, so stay tuned. We'll give it a good cleaning and see what happens. If that don't work, we're just going to buy another carburetor for it. In fact, I found one online on Amazon. It's probably like only 15 bucks. So, I got that much trouble into it already. So, stay tuned. Looking at the timer. Too long a video here. Okay, this is worth mentioning. This part goes in the top. Then that plastic thing over here. And your screw for your idle speed, there is a hole in there. See where I got a sewing needle there? Don't make it any bigger. There is an O-ring on here. It's like a flat O-ring. There is an actual O-ring. I'm holding it and spinning it right now. There is an O-ring. This only goes in one way because it's flat sided. But remember, even though I cleaned this, something still could have plugged that up. This is all part of your idle passage. I said them holes, this, and where it comes in here. This hole is for your main, where it sucks for your main fuel. But still, this idle circuit sucks off the gas down here. You know, as you suck through everything. It's kind of hard to me to explain it in technical terms, but just to show you the parts that do have little holes you got to look for. So, stay tuned. We're getting there.
we're going to call it good. We might get a carburetor, but I think if it had a load on it when it surged like that at a high idle. Uh, my one on my garden tractor, it's made by Lythan. It's a Greyhound from Harbor Freight. If you revved it up like that without driving around the yard, it's going to surge. So I've always known not to set, let it run wide open, not do no work with it. But here we go. Let's pull on it like half a pull. We're going to have to choke it. We're going to call that good for now. Maybe we'll put it on something and run it someday. But it's not surging, and that screw does work now. If It's kind of in the factory spot where I ground that off. But I had to grind it to get it out to clean everything. But I can go left or right. It gets a little bit worse than an idle. So about where the factory had it set, it seems to be working. Because like I showed in the other video, that I ground a piece off that limited how far that turned. So... Thanks for watching another episode of this engine. Uh, I'm getting tired of it. I don't know. hope nobody else is, but it's something to work on. So thanks again for watching. It doesn't surge as bad with the filter and everything on.